Hello. Well, uh, today I'm here to talk about a film I've wanted to talk about for some time. But, you know, I never got to because theaters close and so this film seemed to be just gone. Uh, and I'll talk a little bit about what transpired until uh, recently when I was able to finally walk, get this film. That movie is, of course, The Way Back. Um, now, this is a film I wanted to see for a while, and uh, it just looked good. You know, the film is about uh, Ben Affleck's character, um, who's an alcoholic, and uh, it seems he's he became uh, one after his son passed away from cancer, and uh, you know, very young. And he just took it incredibly hard, but he just drinks himself to uh, sort of like, the He's just not, that's like his only way to cope with all that. And um, he is separated from his wife, you know, so they're not divorced. But it uh, seems like it's been from over a year from what we hear in the movie. It's been for like over a year. Or so, they've uh, been separated, and uh, yeah, he, he's just doing his job as a, like a construction worker, and that's really. Uh, and at night, he goes and uh, goes drinking. That seems to be his normal routine. But then one day, uh, he gets a call from. Somebody at his, uh, from his old high school, which is a Catholic school, to be the basketball coach. Because, um, you know, the previous one had a heart attack, and while he'll be fine, it's basically suggested by pretty much everybody that he does not return as the basketball coach. So, um, at first he's not sure about... Uh, at first, you know, uh, having to become adjusted to all of them, all the guys on the basketball team, it's a bit, it takes a while. It cuts one from the team because he's, you know, he's late. He just, you know, he doesn't see, he's, he just seems like, like he's like the best player, so he can just show up when he wants. Seems to be the attitude he kind of uh, has. Um, but there's one that he, uh, that he sees as the best on the team. It's just he, you know, uh, doesn't necessarily think he is. Think he, uh, you know, he's really good at basketball, but, you know, he's not the team captain. You know, he's so, and he's just, he's there, he plays, he does what he can, but, yeah, it's 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 uh, it's just, it's just a very good film. Um, uh, as he continues to coach the team, he begins to get better. He you know, stops drinking much, and the team actually begins to win games. You know, something that you know again that hasn't happened since he was in. Uh, he was playing uh, back in the 90s, so it's like over like 20 years that they have not won, a bat, uh, gone to the championship and won, well, or even been to a championship. And uh, it's just a very good film. It's a, uh, you know, I, I don't want to talk too much about it because I'm sure there are many who have not seen this film. Some might not even know this was even out. And uh, I'll kind of get into that now. As I said at the beginning, I wanted to see this in theaters. And as I've said in other videos, I was planning on it and I was figuring out when exactly I'd be able to see this. 
and just as I was figuring that out, everything shut down, and so, yeah, that's what happens. Uh, and also, I'm looking back, I'm thinking, like, yeah, that, that just sort of seems like my luck, though I know that wasn't necessarily my part. It's not like everything remained open, and for insert reason here, I never saw it. But it was just a moment, like, as I was figuring out something, like, this dude for fun to watch a film you know, in, the in the theater, this would happen. And I'm like, you know, yeah. It's, it's a, you know, the upshot of the whole shutdown is now here that that's lifted. Uh, things are getting a lot better. Um, and seeing this film, uh, I'm really happy. I, I really enjoyed this film. It's a really good movie. It's a great film. Um, one of the best films of this year, uh, I would say. Um, I've seen Capone also, which was streaming and on demand. Um, might talk about that sometime. Um, but this was one I really wanted to see and it was just like it sucks it's not on the the, the theaters uh, have closed and then when things began to reopen I'm like maybe as if theaters open up at the end of May which they did perhaps they'll begin to show movies like this again so they can get money well did I know and I was searching for this film uh, if it was streaming or on demand somewhere, that apparently it was uh, released. Like at like at the end of March, it was done so they could stream it or have it on demand. Despite me using search engines like Google and DuckDuckGo to try and figure out like where is this movie? Where can I see it? And all the results I got were this film from 2017, which may be a good movie, uh, but I had no interest in watching it. You know, I wanted to see this film. This is what I wanted to see. You know, uh, it looked like uh, Ben Affleck was going to be really good in it, and he is great in this film. This film is a really good movie. Um, as I pretty much gave the premise of what the film is, uh, but yeah, though there is more to the movie than you know, they begin to win championships and happy ever. Uh, it's not necessarily what happens. Um, you have to watch the film to find out if you haven't seen it already. Uh, I've already given uh, quite a bit, you know, away. Um, and there's some other things that do happen that I didn't talk about in the midst of those moments that I kind of highlighted. Um, but since this wasn't in theaters long, and because it was apparently streaming or on demand or maybe even both somewhere, I, I actually found that also on Wikipedia, which I know isn't a very good, reliable source. And there wasn't also a citation to it that I saw. Maybe there is now. But when I saw it, I'm like, so this has been on demand somewhere since March. You know. Uh, and I know this wasn't like Suicide Squad, which is from Warner Brothers 2. Where, you know, okay, we're gonna... You know, a lot of money was spent in the making of the film and promoting it. So, you know, we want to get our money back somehow. So, you know... There is that angle for like something like Birds of Prey. Did I say Suicide Squad? I might have. I don't know. It's, well, it's a sequel to Suicide Squad, essentially. You know, it continues Harley Quinn's story. But anyway, you know, Birds of Prey. Bigger budget than this film. But this film, uh, I believe, made only a 14 uh, million at the box office and I want to say it was like 30 million to make. I don't know. 
left to look at. I didn't really pay too much attention to how much it made, uh, particularly when I found out there that it was on demand somewhere. They didn't say where. I guess I kind of just like, wait, what? Where was this this whole time? I even kept looking like for the release. They just kept saying it was pulled from theaters after like a week, week and a half playing because of the whole lockdown situation. So I'm like, where is the, where? I can't find it, and I couldn't find it. And apparently the Blu-ray came out in uh, last month of May. Had no clue about that either. Um, you know, I frequent sites like every week for Blu-ray and DVD releases. Because there could be something that is new that I haven't seen or maybe is a re-release like an anniversary of a film that either I haven't seen before or I have but I just don't have it for one reason or another. Or maybe if I have it, it might be on DVD and... Now it's on Blu-ray. It's on Blu-ray again, but it's better presentation. Sometimes some companies release certain films, and the presentation and the sound and everything isn't all that great, you know. And also special features. Sometimes there's more to that than just say previous releases. But I didn't see this. It, seems like it was that film Warner Brothers made probably I want to say this made almost its, half of its budget back at least like if it was 30 million to make you know it was only a million essentially almost about to make be at least halfway there to 30 million it probably would have made a decent amount of money if the shutdown never happened and it lasted like a full month, month and a half, you know, and everything was just as usual, but, you know, for whatever reason, this didn't uh, seem to be marked as important to, you know, important enough to be uh, promoted, to let people know. This movie is uh, on demand here. Go there to be able to rent or buy it. The DVD and Blu-ray is out this day. You go and buy. It seemed like they were more concerned of films like Birds of Prey than this film. And I think that's a real shame because watching this film, it, again, it's great. I would probably say it is my uh, favorite film of this year that I've seen so far. And of course, you know, there's Tenet, um, which will probably, I, I don't know, I'll, I'll probably, be, I'll probably really enjoy Tenet. It just looks really good. Um, and that's from Christopher Nolan. I know that film has been pushed back to the 31st, which is unfortunate, but it seems like uh, Nolan movie is still going to be the big opener for the theaters. Uh, this summer because, well, Inception is being re-released for its 10th anniversary. Um, at least here in the U.S., from what I've gathered. Uh, July 17th is now, instead of Tenet, it's Inception. Uh, a couple weeks before Tenet uh, comes out. Some say it's a sequel to uh, Inception. It's just been a, kept a secret. Oh, I can't say one way or another if it is. I will. I can say it does look, uh, in a way, stylistically, uh, to a degree, like Inception. But then again, there's a, many Nolan films that have a similar look. You know, he he has his own look now. That it's like you can tell it's a Christopher Nolan film. So. Even then, it's like, that, I don't know if that really means too much. Uh, but, yeah. You know, there's other films coming out this year. Films have been pushed back. Um, uh, it's just a disappointing thing, I think, that this film 
just seem to have gotten the shaft, uh, basically. In promotion for it being on demand, streaming anywhere or whatever, in the midst of all this before it has its Blu-ray and DVD release. Even then, it's like, that seems to be an afterthought for them. I think that's just very unfortunate. But, who knows uh, what the reason is. I know I don't know. Um, anyway, um, that's really all I have to say for now. So, uh, yeah. If you have an opportunity, see The Way Back with Ben Affleck. It's a really good film, and he gives a great performance. Um, I know a lot has been said about Affleck as an actor. Um, I do believe he's a better director than actor, but... <sighs> Excuse me, I don't know why I keep yawning. I'm not even tired, so... Uh, I don't know. But anyway, you know, he's. I think he's a better director than actor, but he's a pretty good actor. It's just, unfortunately, he kind of has chosen roles that, at times, that he should have never taken, but, you know, it seems to have, uh, he seems to have learned from there, so, that's good. And, uh, yeah, uh, I think it's also one that really hits close to home for him, and, uh, he really poured his heart and soul into this performance. Many people were comparing it to his performance in, to his, uh, brother, Casey in Manchester by the Sea, who won an Academy Award very deservingly, I will say, even in the midst of all the controversy and talks about him just even being nominated, let alone winning. Um, I do, uh, I do see the similarities um, uh, with their characters. Um, sad film, though. I will say, I think. Uh, this has a this is a bit more upbeat in various ways than say uh, Manchester by the Sea. That film just seems to have a fair tone to it, and it really feels that way, like it's sad. And fairly early on, you kind of get that in that film, and you kind of get that here. But uh, there seems to be a bit more of an optimistic. Uh, uh, feeling to this film as it goes on like you see how things are not really good but they could get better uh, Manchester by the Sea you do get optimism at the very end of the film like after everything you see things could really get better from here you know things can just like maybe he can finally move on um that's sort of here, too. Maybe he is able to get better at the end of this film. Maybe not. Though I will, but, but it does seem more optimistic. And a bit more upbeat, though. So I get the comparisons to Manchester by the Sea with his performance here and Casey's and Manchester, but, yeah. The films are quite different. Um, but with the brothers... <laughs> And all, I guess there's always going to be some sort of comparison. Uh, but I just wanted to throw that in here at the very end of this video because that's something I remembered. People were kind of comparing them. And I'm like, well, could he get nominated for an Academy Award for this film for his acting? I think that's uh, that, that could be. It could very well happen. I don't know if it will happen, but it could. Uh, and, uh, you know, the year is not over. We have yet to see every film that was supposed to be out this year that will come out. So, uh, yeah. That's really what I, uh, have to say about this film. It's really good. Check it out if you haven't, if you're able to. And, uh, yeah. Till, uh, next time, uh, have a great day. Have a great week. Have a great weekend.